Hello, it's Jason Payne and Juliana Klein with Cola Banker Dean Hop Realtors. We have inside information that this house behind me, it's a beautiful home built by Perry Homes. Gorgeous. It's coming back on the market soon. So why not do a little sneak peek and uh, for those clients out there who might be looking for a home and not wanting to wait forever to get move in, here's your opportunity. And get a great deal. Yes, this is a 3300 plan and I love it. And so yeah, let's, without any further ado, let's go check it check out. It out. <laughs> All right, take care. This is a really nice, very quiet community. And like I mentioned before, great views. There is an elementary school right in this community. Now there is a mud tax for multiple utility district tax that does bring the property tax rate up to 2.6. Um, but this is a wonderful community right in the north central part of the greater San Antonio area. It is in the hill country, uh, lots of things to do close to in the area. So if you're needing to be easy access to the airport, going straight down 281 makes that very, very easy. This is a three car garage house and wait till you see the views in the back of it. They are gorgeous. Um, Square footage is 3,300, just like in the title. That's what Perry does. But yeah, let's head on inside and check out this beautiful home. Before we go inside, I definitely want to point out the location of this house in the community. See the sidewalk right here? And you see those rooftops right there? That is the pool. So if you have small kids and want to have walking distance to the pool and the clubhouse, and I have done a video tour of the amenity centers, well, it's right there, right up the sidewalk. So you won't have far to fall, I mean far to walk if you want to go check out the pool. All right, let's head on inside. They have done a lot of upgrades on this house with the extra lighting, the uh, brick stone combo. So let's finish walking the plank and head on inside. This door is a little bit wider than you'll standard see. So I can't wait to see the finish out and I'm going to be putting a link to the finishes that they plan to do on this house. No electricity yet, so bear with us. But we do have the office right up front. And one thing you're going to see a common theme is extra lighting throughout this house. They put can lighting well, pretty much everywhere, but super tall windows. And you can definitely see your desk. If you're like me and like to be facing out, this would be the view. So you can see everybody on the front of the house and uh, really big doors um, looking out. Now my uh, realtor friend here, Julie, she's already checked out this house. Make sure you check out her channel as well. Um, Julie, what did, you, what did you think of the views that these guys are getting ready to see? The views are absolutely amazing. You can see the hill country in the distance, but the views off your back patio in this home are absolutely gorgeous. And we will, that was just a little teaser. I don't usually do a lot of teasers, but I want you to watch this video until we get to that part because it's really nice. All right, mentioned can lighting before. Well, they're in this room too. Um, this is gonna be one of the secondary bedrooms. This is what I like to call the little hybrid Jack and Jill setups with little mini walk-in closets. And when I say the hybrid, that means this room will have its own sink but you will be sharing the toilet, which will eventually be there, and the bath shower combination. And then the people in this room will have also their own sink. And uh, once again, more can lighting up there. So yeah, no shortage of lighting. And this closet's gonna be, well, I thought it was a little bit smaller. It's just a different shape. All right, let's head on out. You can tell we do have the 10 foot ceilings, eight foot doors all throughout this house. Really good size laundry room. Sorry, no electricity, so hopefully you can still see all this. But this is the laundry room. They went a little fun with the tile, which I always recommend. A little fun with a laundry room tile. All right, before we go into the main space, I wanna highlight this three car garage. And we have another bedroom tacked up here. This is gonna be your mud room. They're still working on it. But full three car garage, a lot more extra can lighting through here. So you're not gonna have any problem lighting. 
but they have an extra door. The original uh, buyers of this house put an extra door in there so they can go out a few steps and then go down the side of their house. This is gonna be your open to the public bathroom. So they just come around and it's gonna have a full shower in it. Very nice, they took the tile all the way to the ceiling. I'm pretty sure that's open door, but it is, that is gonna be the bathroom for this room or lighting. But yeah, good sized rooms in this plan. Uh, I really, really do like it. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have, hopefully you've seen my video tour of the model home out in Kinder Ranch of the 3300 plan. This is gorgeous and you're about to see why. I cannot resist highlighting this absolutely beautiful fireplace. I am a huge fan of fireplaces and if you've watched any of my videos, you're gonna know I always highlight the fireplaces. Mm -hmm. Especially in the hill country, it's just a really nice feature to have on the and chilly you, nights. And you can tell they've got it framed. They're gonna be taking the stone all the way up top and it's gonna be the same stone as what's up front. You definitely have plenty of uh, pre-done stuff for your TV and entertainment spot off to the side here, and that's gonna be nice. But let's check out the main living space. Notice the lighting, the super cool ceiling work, a little gothic kind of feel to it. But check out this bad boy. This kitchen and this open space really sells this house. The cabinets are gonna be light, and I think the countertop is going to be a little bit darker. I will include the printout in the specs and uh, this refrigerator knockout. If you're looking for a home and you're wanting to go a little bit on the crazy side with your refrigerator, this is already has it built in. So if you want to go large and in industrial size or sub-zero type refrigerator, you can in this house because it's already been built in. But speaking of built-ins, check out these closets. You got extra light coming in from above. And once again, the common theme, lots of lighting up above. You guys know I don't like the dreaded 50-50 sink. There's no 50-50 sink here. You have the big farmhouse sink, lots of room. You can see the kind of the granite that, the, that's gonna be in here. Let's look like a quartz. But uh, yeah, this, this great room area is just phenomenal. They haven't stained the wood beams yet, but uh, they will eventually. Your cooktop, this is a gas community, and they wanted to make sure they have a big enough cut space here. It was my clients who were getting this house built. They are downsizing to a different size, but man, they, uh, they really went all out with the upgrades in this house but I definitely want to point out this other neat little room out to the side. So if you're like me and you like to entertain or have a movie room, you can, because check out this game room. It is big. So if you're wanting to watch a football game or something and you want to have the volume up a little loud, you can shut those doors and uh, not have to bother the rest of the house. Not too much. I keep my speakers pretty loud when I'm watching a movie or something. But this is a really great room for it. All right, the whole wide shots of this main living area. Julie, did you want to walk us out to the back patio? Absolutely. Can't miss this great view. Yeah, this. I feel like Vanna. <laughs> but this view, uh, as far as a production community, to be able to have this view out here, this, this is pretty cool. So it just keeps getting right. better. Yeah, that, that's phenomenal out there. Absolutely fantastic. And you know, I'm big on making sure the house faces the right direction. The sun's going to be setting behind me, so that's going to give you plenty of shade so you don't get melted on this. I will point out the downside. Um, this is a really big drop going down there and I know Perry does plan to build some type of retaining wall right here to be able to add 
kind of what you see the length of the fence back here get to where you can see that without me falling off the edge and dying uh, where that stained fence goes they're gonna be trying to make this little um, valley here more of a yard I don't have a lot of information on that yet because I think Perry's still kind of working out how they're gonna do that but the pre people designed the house they plan to do a step down balk uh, porch area they're not too cheap to do but man if you did have your deck going down in different tiers that would be super cool and as you can see nobody behind you and guess what people there's never going to be anybody behind you which is a real big bonus yeah so you're always going to have that gorgeous view yeah it's super important this this is a really gem of a lot that they have and lots of lighting you can see it's wired so if you want to put one of those big ass fans back out here you definitely can all right like i said now you see why i definitely want to come out and market this house because it's going to be super cool and talking about super cool let's check out the bedroom once again lots of windows in here with the A-frame ceiling with, of course, more can lighting. But check out this bathroom. A lot of times, uh, like I'm big on symmetry, this bathroom's definitely gonna have the symmetry. You walk in, this is gonna have a freestanding tub in it. That's something Perry doesn't like to do anymore. They're doing like those little box tubs. Uh, when my guy was getting this house built, he, he paid extra to have a freestanding tub in there and it's going to be gorgeous it is going to have the dual vanities on each side both of it very balanced and then you've got the car wash shower where you walk in one side and go out the other beautiful tile selection you got the shower head on the wall and coming from above so you'll have a true rain shower coming in and hey folks it's actually spa like not car wash well i like the name car wash that's i'm, I'm from texas i can make up my own names <laughs> <laughs> but i've heard car wash from other folks too a little makeup kit area and we have looks like yeah this is going to have a his and her closet so that's going to be a shoe rack and other racks right there and oh, almost died right there so your water closet's gonna be right here and then the other closet right there so yeah lots of closet space and this is gonna be your uh, hub for all your ethernet ports and stuff will all come through there great place to put a router and if you're having a house that's this big i definitely recommend having a mesh router so you can have your internet speeds not drop off. It's an amazing linen closet. Too. Yes, definitely a good size deep linen closet. See, now you're going to be the one almost falling over some stuff. But just a super cool house. I'm excited to be able to showcase this house for those folks who are still wanting to move here. Even though it, it is 26 June 2022, interest rates have been going up. But man, if you're looking to move into something quickly, this is a great opportunity. All right, that's going to wrap up the tour of this 3300 plan built by Perry Homes in the Johnson Ranch community in the north central part of the San Antonio and Hill Country area. If you want some more information about this house, feel free to reach out to me. The best way to do that is to click the link to my calendar in the description box. And the reason I haven't mentioned the price yet is because the sales rep is getting that information for me right now. And once I get that, I will put that also in the description box. And also, thank you for Miss Juliana Klein for joining me on this video. If you wanna follow her as well, make sure I'll leave a link to her YouTube channel in the description box as well. All right, that's gonna do it for now. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and as always, keep sharing my videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now.